Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you for taking the time to join me today for this virtual town hall. Uh, I realize that uh, this is a format that uh, doesn't allow us to be uh, in the same room together as we normally do, but I hope it will still be a valuable format uh, for conveying important information to you, uh, American citizens, uh, who we uh, feel no greater responsibility for um, in terms of your safety and security uh, overseas. At the U.S. Embassy in Yerevan, uh, we are committed to the safety and security of our U.S. citizen community, and as the ambassador, I take this responsibility extremely seriously. One of our most important commitments uh, is to share timely, relevant, and accurate information to help you and your family stay safe and healthy. And that is what I hope to accomplish today uh, in this virtual town hall. As the situation globally in the United States and here in Armenia continues to evolve, I want to let you know that the embassy is here for you. Uh, the U.S. Embassy remains open for business and will continue to provide accurate, timely, and important information on developments related to COVID-19. So what I'll be doing today is providing a status update on the situation in the United States and here in Armenia, and I will also explain some of the measures the Department of State and the U.S. Embassy in Yerevan are taking in this difficult time. And I will also be touching on some of the resources that we can uh, point you to uh, that are provided by the Embassy and the Department of State that can help you stay informed. Many of you have also shared your questions and concerns uh, in advance of the town hall, and I thank you for doing so. And I will uh, try to address some of the key questions that we received uh, in this uh, format, uh, but then uh, we will also be uh, getting answers out in written form to all the questions that we received. Uh, uh, you can reach our U.S. Citizen Services team with questions, concerns, or issues. Uh, there is um, an email address. It is acsyerevan at state.gov. Uh, and uh, our telephone number is 374 10 49 4585. 
So for the status update, let me start with um, uh, the report by the Center for Centers for Disease Control uh, and Prevention, which reports that in the United States, there are 3,487 confirmed cases of COVID-19 as of today. Across the United States, we are seeing the federal government, along with states, cities, and businesses, continue to take precautions to keep people safe and healthy. These measures include telework opportunities, the practice of proper hygiene and social distancing. As of today, Armenia has 64 confirmed cases. And as the situation in Armenia continues to evolve, we are regularly updating information on confirmed cases on the U.S. Embassy website. And I urge you to continue to follow our U.S. Embassy Yerevan website, uh, uh, website's COVID-19 notice. As of yesterday, the government of Armenia announced new measures to contain the spread of COVID-19 and protect public health. And as this situation continues to evolve, uh, the Department of State and the U.S. Embassy in Yerevan are taking steps to ensure the safety of U.S. citizens and our personnel. On March 14th, the Department of State authorized the departure from any diplomatic or consular post in the world of U.S. personnel and family members who have determined that they are at higher risk of a poor outcome if exposed to COVID-19 or who have requested departure based on a commensurate justification. On March 11th, the U.S. Department of State issued a worldwide level three health advisory due to an outbreak of COVID-19. The department is continuously assessing travel conditions in areas affected by COVID-19 and will continue to update our travel advisories and safety information for U.S. travelers as situations evolve. And this information is available on travel.state.gov. Uh, travel, uh, get, uh, state, get, go, kai, the CDC also issues travel health notices. Uh, and 
and the CDC travel health notices focus on health concerns, uh, while in contrast, the State Department's advisories are uh, based on established risk indicators such as crime, terrorism, kidnapping, hostage taking, civil unrest, natural disasters, health, and other potential risks. Uh, առողջապահական առողջական հարցերին է առնչվում մինչդեռ պետք քարտուղարության այդ հորդորներում հաշվի են առնվում շատ ավելի մեծ թվով գործոններ մասնավորապես ասենք հանցավորության ահաբեկչության բնական աղետների առողջապահական եւ այլ հարցերի համախումբ է այստեղ դիտարկում I would refer you to the CDC website for more information about their travel health notices and please bear in mind that if you uh, see some differences in in uh, levels assigned uh, to uh, Armenia for uh, instance between the CDC and the State Department um, this is because uh, our advisories, uh, are uh, based on uh, uh, the State Department's advisories are based on a, um, a multiple uh, set of factors that go beyond health, while the CDC factors are focused solely on health. Yes, can you remember that you were not was yet to talk about risky matters that you were able to get a hold of me. That was the reason I ran to you to get you able to get a hold of me. But I was not able to get a hold of you. I was not able to get a hold of you. But I was not able to get a hold of you. But I was not able to get a hold of you. But I was not able to get a hold of you. But I was not able to get a hold of you. But I was not able to get a hold of you. But I was not able to get a hold of you. But I was not able to I hope most of you uh, saw that last week President Trump announced a suspension of travel of most foreign nationals who have been in the 26 European countries of the Schengen travel zone at any point during the 14 days prior to the scheduled arrival. Uh, Եվրոպական երկրների քաղաքացիների կամ այն անձանց, ովքեր վերջին 14 օրերի ընթացքում եղել են 26 եվրոպական երկրներում կամ Շենգենյան գոտու երկրներում։ This includes uh, transit of the Schengen zone. Սա նաև ներառում է Շենգենյան երկրներով առանցման դեպքերը։ The proclamation went into effect on March 13th and on March 14th the president added the United Kingdom and Ireland. Եվ այդ հրամանագիրը մարտի 13-ից գործողության մեջ մտավ եւ հաջորդ օրը նախագահ Թրամպը Շենգենյան գոտու երկրների ցանկին նաեւ ավելացրեց միացյալ թագավորությունը եւ Իռլանդիան։ These restrictions are in addition to previous limitations already placed on most foreign nationals with travel to Iran or China within the last 14 days as announced in January and February. Եվ այս սահմանափակումները լրացուցիչ սահմանափակումներ են իլերում են արդեն ավելի վաղ հունվար փետրվար ամիսներին Իրանի եւ Չինաստանի քաղաքացիների չի Իրանում եւ Չինաստանում գտնված անձանց հետ կապված I want to be clear though about one uh, very important point with respect uh, to uh, the travel restrictions uh, going into the United States Ուզում եմ հստակեցնել միացյալ նահանգներ մուտք կործելու հետ կապված հարցերի վերաբերյալ The suspension of entry does not apply to US citizens, legal permanent residents and certain immediate family members of US citizens and permanent residents as well as uh, a few other categories of travelers. Միացյալ նահանգներ մուտքը չի թույլատրվում ու մուտքի արկերը չի վերաբերվում ամերիկյան քաղաքացիներին, չի վերաբերվում միացյալ նահանգներում մշտական օրինական բնակչիկ արկավիճակ ունեցող անձանց եւ նրանց ընտանիքի անմիջական անդամների ու նաեւ որոշ այլ կատեգորիաների անձիկ եւս անձանց նկատմամբ եւս այս արկերը չի կիրառվում Let me turn now to some of the resources that uh, I want to be sure you're aware of where you can go for more information 
on COVID-19 as well as uh, the travel uh, situation. Այժմ ուզում եմ նշել մի նշել մի քանի աղբյուրներ, տերեկատվության աղբյուրներ, որտեղ դուք կկարողանաք թարմ տերեկություններ ստանալ կորոնավիրուսի հետ կապված իրավիճակի վերաբերյալ։ First is the US Embassy Yerevan webpage. Առաջինը Երևանում միացյալ նահանգների դեսպանական կայքն է։ Please check the US Citizen Services page on our website for the most up-to-date information on the status of COVID-19 in Armenia, as well as the State Department's travel advisory page for Armenia at travel.state.gov. <laughs> If you haven't enrolled yet in STEP, that's the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, I strongly encourage all American citizens uh, traveling in Armenia to do that. Uh, enrolling in the program allows us to reach you quickly in the event of an emergency and to send you safety and security related messages by email and text message. Uh, the other resource uh, that I referred to earlier uh, is the uh, CDC website. Uh, this also has uh, regular updates of important information on COVID-19. And as I said earlier, if you have questions, uh, uh, please don't hesitate uh, to call at our phone number, which is 374 <laughs> Uh, or email us at acsyerevan at state.gov. Now I'm going to turn to questions. Many of you submitted these in advance of the, the briefing, and I want to uh, try to answer some of the uh, commonly asked questions that uh, seemed uh, of the highest priority uh, at this time. Uh, the first question is, uh, will the embassy evacuate U.S. citizens if the situation in Armenia worsens? What will it take for this to happen? So the U.S. Uh, government has successfully evacuated hundreds of our citizens in the previous weeks, um, uh, but such flights uh, do not reflect our standard practice and should not be relied upon as an option for U.S. citizens abroad uh, as a general matter um, uh, in the context of the ongoing uh, COVID uh, crisis. But uh, what I do want to encourage um, uh, all U.S. citizens who are here in Armenia now to do is um, to review their travel plans. Um, uh, commercial options are still open. Uh, and if you haven't uh, looked into making a commercial plan, uh, you should do that now uh, and um, have a plan uh, uh, ready. The next question that we received is, if we are required to self-quarantine in our homes when we get back to the United States, what should we do? 
Uh, the CDC is asking all travelers, including U.S. citizens and legal permanent residents who have been in countries or areas with widespread ongoing community spread in the last 14 days to stay home for a period of 14 days from the time they left to monitor their health and practice social distancing. Uh, there is, I think, a lot more detail uh, uh, on what to do in this uh, situation on the CDC website. So uh, uh, please do uh, uh, check there as well for more details. Uh, another question that we received uh, is what would happen uh, uh, to me if I stay in Armenia for longer than the terms of my visa because I couldn't get a flight out? Uh, we really urge you if you um, have questions about your, your time in Armenia and your legal status that you uh, uh, first start with the uh, Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, and, and their website, which is www.mfa.am. Uh, and and uh, that is the first place to, to go um, before checking in with the consular section. Uh, the next question is, should an American citizen wish to return to the United States? Is that even possible at this time? Will the U.S. allow U.S. citizens from Armenia to enter? Uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, the suspension of entry that uh, President Trump announced does not, let me repeat, does not apply to U.S. citizens or to legal permanent residents entering the United States. Uh, there is information about U.S. airports and the process of returning to the United States from restricted countries, jurisdictions, uh, and other areas, and that can be found uh, at the DHS, the Department of Homeland Security's website, which is www.dhs.gov. Uh, and uh, I urge you to, to look closely uh, at that website. Um, the uh, CDC is also asking travelers, um, uh, as I noted earlier, to plan if they are coming from one of these restricted areas to plan for uh, 14 days of self-isolation at home. So again, the CDC is a very uh, valuable uh, uh, source of information for travelers. Uh, I know we're getting other questions uh, that are coming in via email and we're doing our best to answer those uh, today, uh, but I am sure that there will be more questions in the days to come. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, we are open for business. Uh, we are here to help support our American community. We have um, uh, our team of uh, consular officers as well as myself and others at the embassy who uh, uh, want to be supportive. Uh, and that is why um, uh, we're holding this town hall today. Uh, as we see how the situation develops, uh, we'll be, I'll be looking for other opportunities to uh, address American citizens again. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, and uh, certainly, if there are um, some other uh, questions that you're looking to have addressed in the future uh, at a future town hall, um, please do make sure you send those in. Uh, but uh, I'll just close by saying, uh, um, please uh, stay healthy, and I wish everyone uh, um, uh, safe travels home or a continued safe stay, stay in Armenia. Thank you.